Hi, in this short video, I show you how you can connect the microprofile metrics with Prometheus and Grafana to create nice graphics and to discover what's going on within your microservice architecture. So metrics are important for a concept which is called observability. And you need to know what the system health is. My metrics gives you some values like the amount of CPU which is used, the amount of memory which is used, and not just yes no values as in health. You have also the micro profile health specification which gives you those yes no questions like is my application running? But these values are more low level, but of course can be used to determine if your system is going well that you need to adjust the memory settings that you need to um, scale one of the microservices because the CPU is too much high. The microprofile metrics endpoint exposes those values and it exposes some default values which are defined in the microprofile spec like CPU, number of classes loaded, garbage collection info, etc. But you can also use some custom values as a developer, you can create those values and expose them through that same endpoint. That endpoint can already expose the values in the Prometheus format, as I will show you in a moment. So it will be very easy to import those in the, uh, the required database. Uh, Prometheus is a database for time series. It is very good at it and it's the most common used. And um, the graphical capabilities are a little bit less. So I show you how you can then connect the Grafana, which is an open source tool for visualization of time series data, to connect it to the Prometheus and thus that you can see in a Grafana chart how the CPU changes within your environment. So a quick demo of what I'm explaining. So first let me start up some containers, containers which I need for this demo. And there is the Prometheus container containing uh, the Prometheus software in the database. The Grafana container which will be which we will be using for the graphics and then a simple service. The service itself here has uh, no importance. It has just one endpoint which calculates if a value is a prime number, a value with a lot of digits, so it will take some time. And that service is even written in a way that it takes a lot of CPU and a lot of threads, so in, uh, in not an optimal, in not a production ready way, but it is just used to put our system under stress. The other thing that I have defined is uh, a job for Prometheus so that the Prometheus uh, server can collect those metrics data every two seconds. It will take the values from that endpoint and store it in his database. And I need to find the endpoint where the metrics are exposed and that is for uh, micro profile metrics it is the metrics endpoint so let's see what that endpoints returns metrics as url and then you see for instance here that you get the cpu usage but you also get some information about um, garbage collection you have also some um, information about um, threads I see here. There is also some, um, some memory um, parameters. So you see all those information is by default available. And as I said, you can create some custom values. This is also the default Prometheus format. It's not that readable uh, for humans. There is a lot of uh, info there on that page. But of course, it is designed to transfer data from one system to another, so from one machine to another machine. So it doesn't need to be readable 
we have other tools for that. So let us use that endpoint first for calculating that prime value. Localhost 8080 monitoring is the application and then the endpoint. You see it takes a few seconds but as mentioned that's not the importance of it, it just put some stress on my system and then you see that it results uh, with an answer that this large number is a prime number. So let us let us have a look how that how that uh, is picked up by Prometheus localhost 9090 and there we can ask for the CPU metric the same that I showed you on the metrics page and as you can see there is a larger peak um, when the calculation of the prime value was after the initial initialization and then here the second peak is of that calculation but as you see the graphics capabilities are a bit limited so let's connect the Grafana instance to it there is no setup done up front so it will be done immediately here within this demo the first time I log in I need to specify a new master password I need to connect to my Prometheus database server and within my docker host system it is uh, defined as Prometheus so with that Prometheus 9090 connection you should find it the data source is working and then I can create a query again for that same CPU metric and I have now here a much nicer graphic which I can make auto updating so that every time every few seconds it, it updates itself and if I now launch multiple requests of um, that prime cal calculation you will see that the CPU will be rising up to the maximum allowed value which I have defined for my docker host which is 40% of my uh, machine CPU after the calculations are done you will see that it will drop again So now the calculations are performed, CPU is goes down and you see I get several results back. So um, it, is, it was easy to detect that there was a huge CPU spike in my usage and that could be then of course the decision to make some changes to your environment to accommodate to, for that higher load of your system. So thank you for watching this short video about the integration of micro profile metrics with Payara and uh, Prometheus and Grafana. Have fun. Bye.